The celebration is over and I am bummed, but this year is going to be so fun because we have some real bangers this year, you guys. We are officially in the Renaissance and I don't want to tell you what 400 is because that's just cheating, but I do want to tell you that a good chunk of the 90s is this year and you know what movies are in the 90s and I am so excited this year's going to be a wild ride and I am really, really excited to do it. Okay? If you didn't see any of the celebration, go check it out. If you did see it, check it out again. Honestly, amazing. The Little Mermaid was 300. If you haven't seen that video, I know it's long, but it honestly flies because there's just so much fun information. And uh, if I do say so myself, I'm pretty cool. So the anniversary video has the top 10 best, top 10 worst of this past year and some bloopers. So be sure to check out that video too. Giveaway winner was announced yesterday as well. Let's start this new year. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Parent Trap Hawaiian Honeymoon. There's a fourth one. Parent Trap Hawaiian Honeymoon is a 1989 Magic World of Disney television release. It is directed by Molly Miller, cinematography by Michelle Hugo, editing by Art Stafford and Karen I. Stern, music by Joel McNeely, and it's written by John McNamara and Molly Miller. I covered in the Brat Patrol. The link will be in the description. Michelle Hugo is best known for The Octagon, Bug, The Awakening Land, and Dynasty. Art Stafford is best known for Blue Thunder, Last Time Out, Christmas Bright, and Crazy Like a Fox. Karen I. Stern is best known for Broadcast News, Dick Tracy, Raging Bull, and Say Anything. Joel McNeely covered in the video about Davy Crockett, Rainbow and the Thunder, and John McNamara covered in the video about Double Switch. Both links will be in the description. The film stars Haley Mills, Barry Bostwick, Joy Creel, Leanna Creel, Monica Creel, John M. Jackson, and Jane Meadows. Haley Mills plays Susan and Sharon, and I covered her in The Parent Trap 2. Barry plays Jeff, Joy plays Megan, Leanna plays Lisa, and Monica plays Jesse, and I covered all of them in the video about Parent Trap 3. Both links will be in the description. John M. Jackson plays Ray, and he's best known for Gifted, Sid and Nancy, The Hitcher, and A Few Good Men. Jane Meadows plays Mrs. Brink, and she's best known for City Slickers, David and Bathsheba, College Confidential, and The Player. As I'm sure you can tell, considering I covered the third one like a week ago, this film was made and put out very quickly after the third one. This was a seven month difference between the two. And the fourth one has all the people from the third one, thank goodness, because I was going to implode if it was all new people again. And it's uh, Jeff and Susan getting married and on their way to their honeymoon in Australia, they stop in Hawaii and they take the girls with them to Hawaii to see this hotel they've inherited because Jeffrey's aunt has left him this hotel. And insanity ensues. <laughs> this movie is pure shenanigans. There was so much parent trapping in this one. It was so fun to keep up with. Right at the beginning, a delivery person comes to their house and Susan's a twin and Sharon's there. So Susan and Sharon are getting mixed up and then the triplets are there and they're getting mixed up all with this one delivery person just starting the movie off with such a prime parent trapping joke. And then the rest of the movie, there's so much parent trapping and none of it is as bad as Parent Trap 2, which was so cringe. And in Parent Trap 3, there was only the one real Parent Trap moment where uh, Jesse and Lisa switch places to like trick David almost. That was the only real Parent Trap moment that happened in the Parent Trap 3. This one, you almost can't keep up. I would have killed to read the script of this movie because there were so many like Lisa as Megan and like Jesse as Lisa and Megan as Lisa and Su Sharon as Susan and just like it was utter shenanigans. Any situation that they were getting mixed up, it was just like there were also so many storylines going on in this one. There was Susan and Jeffrey just got married, so now they're newlyweds and Susan is so desperate to bond with Lisa, Jesse, and Megan because she wants to be a really good stepmother and bond with them and have a beautiful relationship. And so she's really trying to work on bonding with them where Lisa, Megan, and Jesse really just want to go to Hawaii and have a good time. Megan then becomes interested in trying to find a guy to have a thing with, but Lisa pretends to be her before Megan is interested in having a thing with a guy. And then Lisa ends up falling for that guy and stays pretending to be Megan. And then Megan is mistaken for Lisa, which this other surfer dude, like thought she was and she takes the place and it's just and then there's a moment where Jeffrey thinks Sharon is Susan and Jeffrey's really mad at Susan so Sharon's like oh wait maybe I should be Susan right now and it was just so insane and just so many moments where they're like switching and like there's a woman the guest 
um, Mrs. Brink is such a brat and there's a whole storyline about how she wants to sue the hotel and all of this and Jessie's the one that's constantly taking care of her but she asks both Lisa and Megan to step in for her at one point. So there's just like so many moments where they're switching places and it's like on steroids and it was so fun and insane and jam-packed with that stuff that I had a really good time watching it. Out of all of them, besides obviously the original Parent Trap, this was probably my favorite. I did really like Three a lot, but like if we're talking about the Parent Trap and the whole point of the Parent Trap is the switching twin thing, this one is the next best if we're not counting the Lindsay Lohan version, which we aren't at the moment because that one is definitely the best, just saying. But this one was so fun and I definitely, definitely recommend it. That's everything I have for Parent Trap Hawaiian Honeymoon. I am very excited to announce a new rating system. I've had some people in the past comment about how I just willy-nilly give a rating and I don't really like think about it. It's really just my enjoyment and I'm not super critically thinking about it. And sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not. And then I go back on things and blah, 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 blah. I digress. So someone suggested I come up with a stricter rating and I thought that would be fun. So from now on, I have seven categories that I give zero through 10. The seven categories are directing, cinematography, or animation, depending on the film, editing, music, writing, acting, and opinion slash enjoyment. Did I like it? Per like emotionally, I guess, yes. Those are my seven categories. I will give each of these seven categories a number zero through 10, and then I will take the average of all of those numbers and that will be the final rating. I will never list every single rating in the actual video because that's just gonna take a lot of time that we don't need to take up. I'm only ever going to say the final rating in the video, but in the description, you will be able to see my breakdown of each rating. So for instance, maybe I gave the directing a 10, but I gave music a two, you know? Like, oh, could really get intense. Another thing I have to say, I will never give a decimal, a fraction, a half, whatever you wanna call it. I will round up or round down. So for those of you who don't remember how that works, because you've been out of school a really long time, you don't use numbers or math, uh, say it's I divide all the numbers and it's a 6.5. 6.5 gets rounded up to a seven. Anything under a 6.5 gets rounded down to a six. So say it was 6.4378, uh, 6.4378 gets rounded down to a six. Say it was 6.51 gets rounded up to a seven. Do we follow? That's how math works in good old math. So I'm not going to list each rating for each category. Those will be in the description by the totals, where I put the actors, etc. They will always be in the description from now on, but I will list the final rating. And the final rating for this film was a six. <laughs> not surprising at all. It was a fun movie, but there were some parts of it that weren't great. So that probably brought the score down just a little bit. That was wordy, and I'm sorry for that, but there you go. Our total movie count is... Parent, death, toll, and crack count are still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time! Comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of it. You are, so you do, and don't be ray about it. Here's the deal, everybody. I want 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If we can get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'll do a massive giveaway. I'm not talking $100 to one person. You feel me? I'm talking multiple winners, major prizes. Let me know what you would want in said giveaway. I'll get you guys what you want. Do you want a D23 membership? Do you want a Disney World or Disneyland ticket? Do you want movies? Do you want accessories? Do you want clothes? Do you want makeup? Do you want... I don't know what else there is. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. Stuffed animals. Uh, Mickey Monthly. Uh, food. Kitchen supply. Anything. Anything you want that is Disney related. I will get and do a giant giveaway if we get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year.